Hey guys, Victoria here. Welcome to my channel. I am feeling that I need a little bit of change in my environment since I work from home and I live here and I spend, I don't know, 95% of my time here. Maybe a bit less, but yeah, in the winter probably around 95%. I kind of need some novelty and since I'm not going to move anywhere anytime soon, although it is in my head, but <laughs> it's just probably, it probably has to wait a little, this moving, um, at least a few months, <laughs> um, if not longer. So I just want to kind of make a little bit of a change. and. <sighs> Although I would love to, you know, like make big changes and paint the apartment and reorganize everything, it's not really possible. I mean, I could paint, but then I would have to paint it back and maybe I'm gonna move from here in, in the next five months. My contract is until the end of February, so there is a slight possibility that I might move somewhere else at that time uh, if I find something else. That would mean if I paint something now, I would have to paint back everything in less than four months, which it's not very... And another thing is like I'm a little bit of afraid of this kind of DIY projects like I never painted anything like a wall before I'm sure I could do it I also don't have the necessary equipment for it so I'm doing little changes and I also try to reorganize a little bit my apartment but it's also not that easy to switch around the furniture's location um, I mean, it's possible, but it it is better how it is right now than how I would change it. I'm still thinking of potential changes, but until then, <laughs> the one thing that I can definitely do without buying anything, without getting into some kind of DIY project with low effort, something is that is a quite prevalent item in my in my apartment is this shelving here because it's basically in the middle of the apartment so um i want to kind of design it a bit differently which is a bit more cool or something that is more i don't know my style in a, in a way that i prefer to have it i mean i have no clue how is this gonna work out but uh, i just want to change it up because i have been living here for almost three years now, two, over two and a half years, and my apartment looks like this for the last two years. It hasn't changed a bit, so I feel like I need some change in my life. <laughs> I'm a little bit restless and I need to do things, so that's what's happening right now. So yeah, my idea is to figure out a different setup for this uh, shelving with what I already have without purchasing any kind of new decor pieces, which I'm not a big fan of decor pieces per se, so I'm trying to use other items to decorate, which is gonna be mostly books and plants in my case. So let's see what I can make out of this. I also have to declutter some of these things, like I have these kind of boxes everywhere with full with stuff and I have to go through them but I might not go through them in today's video but you will see an upcoming video with a big decluttering project that I'm doing right now so tune in for that subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss that it's a whole minimalism challenge that I'm doing and that requires me to declutter my whole house but yeah it's not ready yet I'm working on it but before that, we're gonna reorganize and redesign my shelving in the middle of my apartment. First, what I did, which is already done, is I decluttered my book, so you can see there's an empty space here. So I got I wanna go through the books that I have um, and to see which one I don't need anymore or which one I don't want. Some of them that I read I know that I don't want to keep them, I read them once and that was enough and some of them I might have never read and I'm not sure if I will so I will just maybe research it a little bit to check what the plot is about if it's something that interests me or if it's something that I'm most likely not gonna read then I can give it away Where should we start? Let's start here on the top <laughs> This book, this is a workbook 
a friend of mine gave it to me a year ago and I started to read it but then it's like too much effort <laughs> and then I was like yeah this is like a self-help help book but also you have to do it it's just not for me and the friend who gave it to me probably doesn't need it but I'm gonna ask her if she wants it back uh, it looks like she never used it either herself so <laughs> we'll see but this is like a, definitely being taken out from my collection and this one I read it two years ago already um, it's a book of a Hungarian psychologist this year I wanted to read it again basically it is talking about every month of the year what are the things that you should think about how do you start your months mentally uh, he's talking about stories from his own life or stories about his patients and it's a lot about mindfulness and psychology and how to go about life in a not so ignorant way uh, where you are dealing with your problems and trying to be a better person kind of um, so this year I started it, I think in January and February I, I read it, like I read the respective section for the months, but then I somehow slacked up on it, or how do you say that, like I somehow just never followed through with the rest of the year, and I think it's fine, I think I don't need to read it again, uh, I'm gonna bring it back to my mom, because it's actually my mom's book, so this is also being removed from my collection. Then this book I just read a few weeks ago or last month or two months ago and I am not going to declutter it although I probably won't read it again but it's a beautiful book when you take off the cover so this is something that I can use as also as a decoration um, so I'm gonna keep it. I got it for free or no, this was a second-hand buy, second-hand purchase for two or three euros uh, in Carla. So this one I'm keeping and it will be staying. <laughs> These two, well, I'm gonna keep the Tokyo one because I was part of the team in Tokyo and I, uh, I appear in this book, but I'm going to declutter this one because I was not part of the team in Beijing, so don't need to keep it. Um, Robinson Crusoe. It's another beautiful book, actually. Look at that. So this is a book that I have not yet read. Well, I read it in school back 20 years ago. <laughs> Maybe not 20, but 15. And I believe I remember liking it. This particular book is in German. I picked it up for free from the Volkshochschule where you have where they have this bookshelf where you can pick up books for free. It has some nice illustrations. It looks like a thick book from the outside, but actually it's not very thick. It's like 250 pages only. Um, I remember when I read it, I actually liked the story, it was interesting and exciting, like for a um, book that you read in school, this was a very exciting one, I remember, so I might reread it, but if not, it's still a good decoration book without the cover. <laughs> and also it's a classic, so I feel like I need this on my shelf. This I got from the same friend. Uh, this one, she decluttered this one from her collection, I don't know if she read it, I didn't. I will have to look into it online. If this is maybe a young adult novel or like something for teenagers, then I will probably declutter it. If it is for adults, then I might keep it. I will check online because based on this, I can't really decide it. Then I have two German Ken Follett books that I still need to read and I'm keeping them because I really like Ken Follett. Then I have two of these self-help books kind of. One of them, the, the um, title is Do you want to be normal or do you want to be happy? And the other one is You can just not understand me Why men and women talk next to each other or don't understand each other 
now that I'm like reading the title, I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's interesting. I want to read that. <laughs> I'm gonna Google them as well. What other people say about them? Because based on the title, and that's why I picked them up. I picked them up for free as well from <laughs> a location where you could pick up free books. Uh, because the title looked interesting. Then, um, what was the title of this movie? The Wild, the Wild, with um, Reese Witherspoon, where she goes into the North Pacific Trail to walk. I don't know how many thousand kilometers. Um, so this is the book that that movie is based on. And I started to read this in German a long time ago when like in 2014 or 15 but then I never finished it and then and then I watched the movie and I don't feel like I want to read the book and I think I can declutter it yep then the notebook from Nicholas Parks I picked it up for free this year I oops <laughs> I got scared of the book of Austria come on um so I read it um and I'm ready to declutter it and bring it back to where I picked it up from so, my, so other people can pick it up as well. It wasn't a good book. I mean, I read it in German, maybe that's why the experience was not great, but... Eh. Then, this book of Austria. Honestly, who is traveling with a travel book? I mean, just go online and check online. <sighs> Plus, a lot of the things might not be, like, a lot of the recommendations might not exist anymore. Um, this book is from 2007. I mean, most of the sites and the information, I guess, is still accurate, but... I have lived in Austria for almost three years now, and I have not looked into this book, so it's going. Uh, yet another book that I got from my friend, Gulliver's Travels. So it's another classic, which I have never read. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would read this one. Because it's an old book. I prefer contemporary or book from, books from the 20th century. <laughs> so, although this is also not a 20th century book, but it's a classic. Well, this, I guess, is a classic. It says Penguin Classics, but I don't think I will read it. Then, a book from Immanuel Kant, The Moral Law. Hmm. But it's philosophy, and I'm not someone who likes to read philosophy. I probably wouldn't understand half of this book. Yeah, this is going. Not gonna read it. Um, Don Quixote, I read it this year. I was suffering through it. This book is going back to my mom's collection at home. This used to be actually my brother's. We have a whole like collection of books like this many from the same series, so I would not get rid of this book just because it's part of the series, but this is not staying here for sure. <sighs> Dublin 4. I was just in Dublin a few months ago. Should have read this book when I was there or before. It's a collection of stories, okay? I will also Google this one if I should keep it, if it's worth reading or not. Then this book. Uh, this is my mom's book. The Endless Story from Michael Ende. It's kind of a storybook? I'm not sure. Is this for children? It's both for adults and kids, and it's with kids' stories. It's like Narnia. <laughs> Based on... It's, the story is like Narnia. Okay, then I have an Emily Bronte book. This is also my mom's, but I haven't read it yet. I have The Alchemist from Coelho, which I'm only keeping because another beautiful book. And I'm going to reorganize my bookshelf and maybe have those books as decorations. So I'm going to keep this one. Then a Robin cookbook. I am reading currently a Robin cookbook and this is another one. This is both these both are my mom's books. And um, 
mean, it's not as beautiful as the other ones, but it could still work. Uh, so I still want to read this one. This is The English Patient, which I read a few years back. I watched the movie two times. I do like the story a lot. It's a really good story. Um, I'm gonna keep it. Then we have Jane Austen, um, Sense and Sensibility. That's another pretty book. Um, this is something that I is still on my to read list, so it's staying. <clears throat> then we have uh, World of Poetry, American Poetry and Literacy Projects for Salt Lake City. It's poetry about sport. I have not read it. Maybe I should give it a try. Although I don't like poetry or I never read poetry. We'll give it a try, I guess. <clears throat> then. <laughs> This is a super old book, which I picked up back from my high school library when they decluttered some books so that you, and then you could just take them. And it is from 2000, no, 2000, come on, it's from 1971. Everything or, or Nothing is the title, and I have not read it. I have no idea what is it about, I have to Google it, but I probably will declutter it. <laughs> Tinder Academy. <laughs> Seven step, steps to your perfect date. <clears throat> I picked up also last year, like, uh, yeah, around one year ago from another of these um, bookshelves where you can take books for free. Well, I hope that the person who put this there found love or at least had the perfect date. <laughs> we picked it up for fun, but I actually didn't read it. And now I'm back on the dating scene and I feel like no matter what I do on my profile, people will just not text. <laughs> so like, I don't know what people are doing on the dating apps, but they just don't reply. <laughs> what can I do? Or they don't even start a conversation. Um, so this is... Uh, um, maybe. I will have to look into it. Then we have a heavy Hemingway book here. Hmm. Uh, Oh, this looks very difficult to read. Jesus, it's very long as well. I will look into this. I know that I would like to try to read Hemingway, but maybe not in German. It might be difficult. Then, Girl on the Train. I read this book this year. I will not reread it. I don't need to have this on my shelf, so this is going. Dopala. House of Foxes. Um, this is a book of a, who was which was written by a friend of a friend. I got it from our common friend and I read it and it was a good story. I probably won't reread it, but I don't think I will declutter it either just because it was a present and it is about sport, the story. So, you know, something related to my life <laughs> in a way. Then I have this Lauren Graham book. I really love Lauren Graham. I loved Gilmore Girls. Um, the book was okay. It wasn't anything exciting. I read it. I won't reread it, but I will keep it just because it's Lauren Graham. And the same goes with these Dan Brown books. I read them. I really, really enjoyed them. It's just not something that I would reread unless I forget what happened in them, um, but I will keep them. And the final one, I wanted to check. It's another one of these pretty books, so I will keep it for that. But I might also read it because I like this kind of historical books. This is about Edward VIII who abducted the throne because of a divorced American woman. This is how, this is the reason why Elizabeth ended on the throne, ended up on the throne in the 40s. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the story is interesting. Um, I recommend you to watch VE, the movie, which is about their story. It's a very nice movie. And yeah, if you like this kind of things, so I'm gonna keep that one. I didn't read the book yet, so I might still read it. Then, Honestly, from up here, 
I will probably keep all of these, although these two... I will keep all of these, this and this is a maybe, I will have to think about it, but the rest is staying. So I got rid of some of the books, got rid of like some of them were taken by friends and some of them I'm just gonna bring to a free bookshelf where other people can take them and I only left the books that I want to keep. Half of them I have not even read yet, so let's see. Yeah, let's just, I guess, let's just move everything down from the shelf and then think about a plan on how to design it. It's gonna be a trial and error in my case because I don't really have a set plan for this. I just want to change it. a little lost of what to do. <laughs> there are a lot of things on this shelf that I ideally would not store on the shelf because I would prefer to have more just decor elements and books on the shelf but unfortunately I don't have anywhere else to store them because I don't have a cupboard. I have a storage room but it's quite small and it's already full <laughs> so yeah I'm not sure where to where to put those things, so I probably have to put them back, but, but let's focus on the design first. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna pick some of these books that I wanted to take out from just having them in a row, as a, like a row of books, rather I want to kind of use them as design elements and showcase them a little bit better. So I was looking at this one, this could be one of those because it's a very nice, like, and also it's a unique shape and it's a mem memory book or what do you call it? It's not something that you necessarily read, it's more something that you showcase. So this could be one of those books that I showcase. This could be another one maybe, um, but they sweep the cover on just because I so much like these two people. And then some books maybe without the cover could be use this decoration, maybe not this one. I already reviewed the books, so which one could potentially be one of those. Like this one could be. This is another one, potentially. I like this like old book look and the colors as well. This is another one of those that could be with this red color. This was also one, I if I remember correctly. Yes. They all have different colors, so it will be very colorful, but I really, oops, <laughs> I dropped it. But I really like this look. Would be like the main elements of the decoration that I was thinking about and then plants and I have a lot of these small succulent sized plants on another shelf which you cannot see at the moment but I'm gonna bring them here as well and then I will try to design it. Well Let's see what we can do. I feel a little bit lost, but we'll make it happen.
uh, I think I need a new bucket of flowers in this one the one which looks a bit better than this <laughs> and then I think this I will keep as a bookshelf so now I just have to kind of figure out how can I put all the other books in here <laughs> not sure if that is possible but let's let's see let's try here I, I like what is happening up there this is kind of the visual I was aiming at but I don't like this it's, it's so busy and it's so like heavy <laughs> here so maybe I should just separate it like leave this pile of the books here and then move that pile somewhere else so I'm gonna try that <laughs> let's see and then put something else here I'm not sure about this poop plan, it looks so sad. <laughs> My, my mom had a big plant of these and she separated them into a few smaller ones and I don't know, it's just a little good. <laughs> Because I'm struggling with finding a place for it. <laughs> so I think these boxes will go back to where they came from. I will have to go through them and declutter what's inside, but it's gonna be another time. I'm like, I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want uh, to put them there. These documents, since they don't fit into my file cabinet <laughs> because they are too wide, we will go back here. So these are all my diplomas. Oops. And like important documents related work and stuff so that's gonna go here I have all my pin collection in here but it really doesn't need to be out on display so I really want to move it somewhere where you can't see it um, I have a, a photo book which is actually empty <laughs> and I have the photos separate and the book itself it's empty and I wanted to, uh, it was one of the projects that I wanted to do to put these photos in here. Uh, I need to get the appropriate equipment to paste the photos inside. That's a project for a winter afternoon, night, winter lonely <laughs> day at home. And then I can display the photo book here somewhere as well because it's a nice vintage photo book that needs to be cleaned up a little. <laughs> I got this uh, for like two euros in a second hand store. But the photos, until I sort them, I need to 
find a home for them. I have photos and a lot of postcards as well that I need to go through to decide which ones I want to keep, which ones I'm ready to discard. So that's a whole project in and of itself. <laughs> I will do that probably another day. This, I will have to go through this box and its content, but the box itself is necessary. And I grab the items in it, at least a few of the items, very frequently. So I like to have it in an accessible location. So where it was before was a good location, I guess. Not sure I can find anything better. I don't want to have it here. Down there is not as accessible as I want it to be. So I, I guess that this setup is gonna stay as it, as it was. Not sure about this one, I'm kind of over it as well. It's so, you know, like teenager, university student vibe to have this kind of uh, photo wall and I'm kind of, I grew out of that stage of my life. <laughs> so maybe I will take off the photos and then put them together with, with the photos and then go through them some someday. What do I do with this? Oh. This is like memorabilia, I don't need that on display. Oh, I still have those two boxes that I have to put somewhere. And they, I, I cannot stack them. <laughs> I also need to go through these boxes. Probably can't even see, can you? <laughs> Sorry about that. I will keep only these two because one of them has a map of South America and Argentina on it, and this one is also from Argentina. So I'll keep these two. This is Kaiken. I can buy Kaiken in Spar. Random. It doesn't. I don't need them. And then I can put all my little shells from. I don't even know where these shells are from anymore. These two are from either Tinian or Rota. I think from Tinian when I was traveling on the Northern Marianas. So I kept those, and then these other ones are probably from Croatia or something, or Italy. Now this was my like full decoration in the apartment. Then I have my jewelry here. <clears throat> I keep most of my jewelry in this little in this little bowl that I got in Myanmar and I was using it in the kitchen for a bit but then the painting the painting started to break so I decided to not use it and just store things in it. I have this little I don't know where's the chain of this. Did it intentionally take off the chain not sure it should open anyway and there is like a watch inside it's from azerbaijan so it's kind of a memory from a trip and then all the other jewelry that i have i use them not so often or they were presents i don't really use this one anymore but I remember when I got it, I got it when I went to Erasmus and I got it from my friend as like a goodbye gift. I mean, I went away for six months. <laughs> At that time, it was the first time I went abroad. 
Then this one I also never use because my hair gets tangled in it, but it has a skate medal, which I used to be a skater, so I want to keep it. But the necklace actually I would never use, so I would actually have to find a new necklace for the medallion. Then here I have a bunch of ear... Hmm, maybe I could declutter these. These ear rings because I never wear them. I have a bunch of like half earrings because I always lost the other half somehow. So I have three which are halves. They are very similar but they are not, not the same because I always, when I lost one of them, I always bought a new one, a replacement. But they are all silver so they are not very like... I don't know what to do with these. I have to... I have to research what to do with silver, silver, silver earrings. The only earring from these that I actually use is this little green one sometimes in my second hole, but it's so small that it actually goes through the hole, <laughs> like when I'm sleeping. Okay, I think this is it for now. What I'm thinking is to get another taller plant to go in here or something else, I'm not sure, but this is kind of a waste of space <laughs> here for sure. There is a lot of empty space there. Mm, I need to go through these boxes full of stuff for sure, but the rest I'm quite happy with. It's very colorful. There are a lot of books. Um, of course, you can see what's in these boxes, which is inevitable. Maybe I should replace those boxes with something that you can put a lid on. Then I have, of course, board games. Some of the games are in in these. I really like this shelf. I think this is my favorite because of the color coordination. But I also really like this one. Maybe I'm going to change those flowers. I am thinking of changing also the script here. And I really like this shelf as well with a lot of green, <laughs> a lot of the plants here. So what I did is that you here on this first step of the shelf used to be this plant and I'm rethinking I mean, here probably it won't be happy, so I will either get something to put it on. I cannot put it on that one because it's very heavy and this one is not very sturdy. But maybe to get something that I could put it on. That's what I'm thinking. And then if, if it's higher up, then it would be better. So then it could stay on this side, either that or I push the shelf back to the left so that there is no space between this one and the shelf and then I put that one on the floor over there or on something which is maybe this high or something like that so that's what I'm thinking but I'm also thinking of kind of rearranging the furniture here taking the bed out from there and putting the the wardrobe and the dresser inside that little hook, making it kind of a walking closet almost. Um, there is space for it here for the bed. And actually I could put then the the nightstand on it, uh, next to it. But if I do that, then I would have to push this shelf closer towards the wall for sure. So yeah, there will still be some changes in the decoration and the furniture here for sure. But I am so far quite happy. There are a lot of things here which are either decluttered or they're moving somewhere else. Yeah, and that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked my design decisions and <laughs> kind of zhuzhing it up here a little bit, kind of making it a more a little bit homier, a little bit different to changing up my environment to make it more appealing to me at least. <laughs> I live here so it has to be appealing to me, right? So yeah, uh, thank you very much once one more time. If you have any ideas, any 
good tips on what what can I do with, for example, this part other than buying a taller plant or waiting for this to grow. <laughs> And maybe also here, what should I put here? Um, then please don't be afraid to put it in the comments down below. And um, I'm hoping to see you at my next video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, push the bell button to be notified when I upload. And I will see you at my next video. Bye!